Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCGD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but uh, very, uh, maybe it's not so obvious because uh, I keep forgetting that. Maybe you didn't see the video from Friday. Uh, but overall, today, good, solid, healthy day. Not only did the price put in a new higher high up there, the price also put in a, a higher low right there. And that's the name of the game, higher highs and higher lows. And you know that is what the price accomplished. So I, I get it, the price didn't really maintain those gains from where it was this morning. But I mean, this morning, as in one morning, from one day, looking at multiple days, which is what we're doing here. You can see that overall the trend remains uh, healthy, really any way you look at it. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you wanna just use the 50 period moving average, which on my chart is being defined as that uh, purple line right there. So if you wanna use that to judge the, the, the trend, well, the price is well above that. And then on Friday, I also drew that trend line in right there. So maybe you wanna use that trend line uh, you know, to judge the health of the trend. Well, the, the price is still well up above that. So any way you look at it, everything is still perfectly fine. So again, I get it. If you're some sort of day trader, flipper, you know, scalper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought right there and your plan was to, to buy and sell within seven minutes. Well, then yeah, from that point of view, maybe the chart's looking kind of bad. But assuming you care about more than just a single day and multiple days, which is what, you know, I'm looking at right here, then the overall trend is still perfectly fine. So as far as support levels, 45 cents, still doing a good job of holding as support. But even if that doesn't quite hold up, then as I've, I've already talked about, you still have these other uh, you know, supports, that purple line, the 50 period, and then the trend line right there. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, uh, the newest level of resistance is gonna be right up there at 51 cents, which is essentially where the, the, the you know party essentially stopped this morning on that gap up. So 51 cents gonna be that next key level, but really resistance levels don't matter because what matters the most is what I've been talking about. Just keep on building those higher bases. As long as these higher bases are built, or if you want to picture those as stair steps, so as long as the stair steps continue to go in the upwards direction, then everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on the healthy consolidations and chipping away with those higher bases and sit back and let the trend do its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.